Those tiny wiggling organisms you can see are microscopic unsegmented roundworms called nematodes. Some plant parasitic nematodes are also known as earworms. They are one of the most abundant creatures on our planet, accounting for about 80% of all individual animals on Earth. About 20,000 species have been described so far, and some estimate that there are well over 1 million different species living in our biosphere. Nematodes have successfully adapted to nearly every ecosystem, from marine to freshwater, soils from the polar regions all the way to the tropics, as well as the highest to the lowest of elevations. They've also been found at great depths, such as gold mines in South Africa. In total, 4.4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 20 nematodes inhabit the Earth's topsoil, or approximately 60 billion for each human, with the highest densities observed in tundra and boreal forests. The nematodes in this clip were found on moss that was growing on a cordyline, which is a woody flowering plant native to eastern Australia. I added a bit of water as I was trying to spot tardigrades as well, but wasn't successful in that regard. Apparently, many species of free-living nematodes are to be found living in the water films surrounding a moss cushion. A number of nematode species are also known to parasitize the moss plants. Some of these induce the formation of conspicuous galls on the plant, which are usually small, roughened lumps of tissue. Nematodes are very small, slender worms, typically about 5 to 100 micrometer thick and 0.1 to 2.5 mm long. The smallest nematodes are microscopic, while free living species can reach as much as 5 cm, and some parasitic species can grow even larger than 1 meter in length. The body is often ornamented with ridges, rings, bristles, or other distinctive structures. The head of a nematode is relatively distinct. The mouth has either three or six lips, which often bear a series of teeth on the inner edges. In this amazing high magnification shot from Daniel, you can see 21 sharp teeth on the species Latronema, which is a fierce predator that feeds on other nematodes. Free living nematodes feed on materials as varied as bacteria, algae, fungi, small animals, fecal matter, dead organisms, and living tissues. About 90% of nematodes reside in the top 15 cm of soil and can effectively regulate bacterial population and may eat up to 5000 bacteria per minute. Also nematodes can play an important role in the nitrogen cycle by way of nitrogen mineralization. Those living in marine environments play a very significant role in the decomposition process, aid in the recycling of nutrients and are also very sensitive to changes in the environment caused by pollution. One roundworm, called Cynorhabditis elegans, lives in the soil and has found much use as a model organism. It has had its entire genome sequenced, the developmental fate of every cell determined and every neuron mapped. This species was part of an ongoing research project conducted on the 2003 Space Shuttle Columbia mission and survived even the re-entry breakup. It is believed to be the first known life form to survive a virtually unprotected atmospheric descent to Earth's surface. Another impressive feat of survivability was described in a research project published in 2012. An Antarctic nematode species was able to withstand intracellular freezing, depending on how well it was fed. I hope you enjoyed this short educational video on nematodes. If you did, then you might also want to check out these as well. Thanks for watching and see you all very soon in the next one.